is their fog their foggles oh my goodness what is this my first day speaking their goggles getting foggy what's up everyone this is Tippy with the gearlady.com and today we are going to be talking about helmets they're the cheapest life insurance you can find this video is not sponsored but outdoor masters was kind enough to send me their latest helmet with MIPS technology so I'm gonna be talking you through all the things that you should look for when you're purchasing a helmet and then also talking about this helmet and the features that I like and some that I don't like part of the reason why I wanted to make this video is I actually have someone really close to me that had a head injury from falling. I feel so strongly about helmets and the importance that they have, especially while on the slopes. If this video even impacts one more person to get a good helmet with those important safety features, I consider this a win. So there are four things to look for when you are purchasing a new helmet. is fit, features, style, and price. Try saying that four times. Fit, feature, style, price. Fit, feature, style, price. <laughs> If you don't have that memorized after this video, I don't know what else I could do for you. My job here is done. Just just kidding, it's not done, okay? First thing you wanna look for is fit. Make sure that you find a helmet that has an adjustable fit. The back of this Outdoor Masters one has this little, what's the term for this? Little dingle hopper. <laughs> that can adjust it to be tighter or looser. So you wanna look for a helmet that's comfortable and snug. You want it to be secure and it shouldn't slip off if you fall. That kind of defeats the purpose. <laughs> no, but really. <laughs> The next thing you want to look for when you're purchasing a helmet is features. I didn't realize that your helmet can actually have such a big impact on whether or not your goggles are getting foggy. Airflow is a big feature to look for in your helmet. This Outdoor Masters helmet actually has 11 total airflow channels, which is a lot. That's more than two hands worth of airflow channels. <laughs> have the external ventilation here on the top. It's meant to be easily movable even when you're wearing your gloves, so it's easy to slide back and forth. And those air vents vent the heat away from your head, making your goggles less prone to fogginess. So let's just take that into consideration. The thing that really sold me on this helmet with Outdoor Masters is that it has the MIPS technology. MIPS technology is actually a multi-dimensional impact protection system. That's where the MIPS comes from. The inbuilt MIPS low friction layer allows a multi-directional movement of 10 to 15 millimeters on certain angled impacts. Basically, it's intended to reduce rotational force to the head and ensure maximum safety. To break that down to peasant level terms, it just means a little bit more protection for your head in case of falls. One of the features that this helmet has that I literally had never considered, but I was like, oh, am I disgusting? <laughs> is it has a removable fleece lining. So I've had my other helmet for four years. I've done a ton of snowboarding. I've sweat a ton. And when I realized this one has a removable fleece lining that you can wash, it occurred to me, I have not washed my other helmet in four years. That's a little gross when you think about it. Next, we have warm ear pads. I personally hate to be cold. And so having the ear pads is really important to me. It's like wearing built-in earmuffs. You can put your headphones directly in the ear pads and that's gonna keep them secure to your head and also have really great sound. Check these out. Very soft, very plush. One of the features I love but also don't love with this helmet is the adjustable ear pad. So you can just pull those out. Now, if I'm totally honest, I love the removable ear pads but also I slightly hate them <gasps> because every time I've gone to grab this dang helmet, I keep pulling the ear pads out. Now, is that a deal breaker? No. Does that mean that I need to learn how to grab my new helmet without pulling the ear pads off? Absolutely. User error, a thousand percent. One of the things that's going to affect the warmth is the type of liner that they have on the inside. So you can see with this Outdoor Masters one, honestly, very soft, very plush. And then this one also has the chin strap that's nice and cozy which we all need. Next must have feature. This goggle strap in the back of your helmet allows some extra security in keeping your goggles on your helmet. Trust me, it is a must have feature. <laughs> Next thing to consider is style. So I really like the Outdoor Masters, just super simple, sleek style. And I love having color selections and kind of options to choose from so you can find the one that fits your personality the best and how you're wanting to express yourself when you're on the mountain. 
And then last thing to consider is price. Helmets are reasonably cheap for the safety that it provides. Of all of the gear that you have, in my opinion, one of the most important pieces of gear that you can purchase. So I highly recommend invest in a really quality helmet with the types of features that you're wanting both long and short term. Trust me, it's worth it. Do you have a story of a helmet saving your head in a fall? Leave it down in the comments below and I can't wait to hear what you have to say. Thank you so much for watching. I picked out a couple other videos that I think you'll like here and I'll see you soon in my next video.